Okay, so if you want to find the greatest common factor here for 21 and 45, here's how you do it. So greatest common factor, that's called a number of different things. Greatest common factor, greatest common divisor, or highest common factor. They're the same things. Let's go with greatest common factor. That's what I learned. So let's write the factors for each number, 21 and 45. 1 times 21, that equals 21. 2 3 times 7, that equals 21. But I think that's it. For 45, 1 times 45, and 3 times 15, that would equal 45. 5 times 9, but I think that's it. I don't think there are any other factors of 45 here. So now that we have the factors for each number, we're going to find the greatest common factor. 1, that's a common factor. But 3, that's larger than 1. 3 looks like it's the greatest common factor out of all of these. So in answer to our question, when we look for the GCF for 21 and 45, it's 3. There are other ways to do this, but with smaller numbers, this is usually a lot quicker. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.